you know, they spend the time crossbreeding different types of apple trees to come up with something that was new and, and worth protecting. So in the, the psychedelic space, it would be possible for somebody. So like in Oregon now, we know that, you know, in a couple of years after licenses will be available for producers, people will be able to uh, legally grow psilocybin mushrooms for you know, sale to facilitators, to service centers, um, to provide to patients. Um, so it's possible that people may seek to breed different types of strains of mushrooms that may have advantageous characteristics. So maybe they will have you know, a, a more consistent amount of psilocybin or a higher amount of psilocybin, or they'll grow more easily, so it'll be you know, faster growing, or some characteristics that could be protectable. So it is possible that somebody can get a, a plant patent to that specific mushroom.